What's up Hobby Maniacs, Rob Bear here today with a look at the new Horus Heresy art cover collection. This was a limited edition set. They came out, uh, I guess, roughly around the first of the year, give or take, along with the, the calendars and things, which are also pretty awesome. I know some folks that got them, and they are way bigger than they thought they were. And for 25 bucks, it seems like a pretty decent thing. Um, definitely like that. I'm going to have to order some for next year because, of course, they're all sold out already. Yay! <laughs> but anyways, I did score this one. Uh, this is something that's going to be going out to folks on Patreon for supporting the channel. And speaking of which, before we jump right into it, I would like to invite you to help keep our videos ad free in 2016. Click on the Patreon link and see what you can do to score yourself some minis and help support the channel. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. Head on over to the blog, spikybitsblog.com, and check out thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. So like I was saying, this is a really cool kind of art book kind of system. It goes along with, you know, all the Horse Heresy stuff happening right now. And it covers, it's a 150 page book and it has roughly uh, 75 different covers. And of course, there isn't even 75 novels because I was like, how does that even work? Um, I think there's roughly 34, but there's like the Audible, uh, the Audible novels and all sorts of things. And then, it, uh, you know, uh, the, the short story things, the... Uh, all, all that stuff out there. It all counts. <laughs> and there's a couple foreign edition covers that we hadn't seen that are in here as well. And so basically what it, sh what it does is it shows you kind of, a, it gives you kind of a two, um, I guess like a two page spread, like an almost full uh, cover, like how it would be presented on the novel itself. Like this book isn't very big, you know what I mean? Like it's kind of like a, uh, definitely an art book. So if you have, if you figure the novel was about this big, you know, it's basically a piece of the art that they show on the cover, but they basically show the whole thing. Remember, if you flip those Horse Heresy novels over, there's still stuff on the back. And while I think it's a really novel idea and something really cool, and they limited it to a thousand um, uh, issues, copies, it's it still doesn't, like, it's hard to see still, you know what I mean? Like, so we jump right into it, and there's a there's a really good picture out of Visions of the new art of a uh, horse and the emperor fighting, and it gives it, like, an overview, like, what the horse heresy is and things like that, but then, like, you, I, you can kind of see what I'm saying here. Like, this is the cover to a book. Uh, I think it's called the Primarchs. It's a short story collection. Yes, it is the Primarchs. And basically, the cover is this right here, right? And it's literally almost the same size. So, yeah, you get to see the whole thing, the whole wrap around, but it's not bigger. You know what I mean? Like, I want to see the detail. Like, I know this is a painting, and I kind of thought it was going to kind of be something like that. Now, it is an art book, and it is showing you um, the full art that is on the book. But I was just a little disappointed personally because I was like, hey, I want to see like the big pictures, you know, because I have these prints and you've probably seen them in the background here in the studio of all these art books and these great looking things. And they're all blown up and you can make out all the like crazy looking stuff in them. But with this, it's not really the case. So just to kind of illustrate what I'm saying on the other page here, it kind of shows you a reverse negative of the image and then the novel cover itself. And this is basically the full size of this like this is full size of what that novel would be so like the novel would be right here and it would say the Primarchs right there so you're basically just kind of getting the full art of the cover which was what was advertised I just you know and my expectations sometimes aren't what exactly is delivered but it's a great looking book there's tons of pages like I said 150 pages we'll just kind of flip through it because I'm not going to show you each and every page because uh, there's just way too much in here to just take up too much time and quite possibly against the law to be quite honest um, so there's a lot of different pages like I said here's a false gods you know some of the beginning and you start to kind of really appreciate how big these prints really are if we saw the whole thing Galaxy and Flames, you know, it's got Garo in it, and a Reaver Titan, a Mars, Mars Alpha Reaver up there. There's Fulgrim, very another iconic novel from back in the day. Mechanicus by Graham McNeil. Um, this one here, I'm not, the scripts, I think that was a short story. Corvax with his whip and his lightning claw. Butcher's Nails was, I think that was a limited um, audio book, if I'm not mistaken. Flight of the Eisenstein, another great series. And then some of the Dark Angel stuff, Descent of Angels. There's Nemesis, where they all sent assassins after each other. Uh, Deliverance Lost. This was one of the most recent novels I've actually read. A good one there. Uh, the Crimson Fist, uh, talking about uh, uh, Alexis Pollock's. 
uh, versus uh, Erasmus Glog on the in the Battle of Fall, where they're basically uh, doing a lot of fleet battles. Garo, more Garo, some of the newer stuff like the Battle for Kalth stuff. Uh, the McCrag's Honor, which was the graphic novel we reviewed here on the channel. And then just more stuff, you know, it's a, it's a big book, it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. Uh, then it goes into Angel Exterminatus, and kind of goes into some of the smaller art uh, for, you can kind of see there, th those are the audiobooks. And then it kind of gets into more novels, so it goes in chronological order. And this was really cool, I hadn't seen this, uh, this was... Um, Sons de Lupercal, this is the French-German release, part one of Vengeful Spirit. And then the Garo book that just came out as well. So this art's actually really good. I'm going to zoom in on this because I really appreciate this art here. It looks like it's the embarkation deck and you got Abaddon yelling at one of his centurions there. And you got this sweet um, Thunderhawk in the background getting loaded up or being unloaded, not exactly sure. And then you can kind of see all of the Sons of Horus around just basically kicking it doing their thing so really exciting uh, kind of panel there that we hadn't seen before and that's that was another thing I liked about this art book is there's you know stuff that you hadn't seen so that was cool um, and then something here looks like uh, Aramon this is called the hunter's moon and then the Talaron series Looks like a Contemptor smashing open a tank. Legacies of Betrayal, another short stories collection. Death and Defiance. Obviously, full ground trans, trans, uh, transfigured. <laughs> Ascendant, I don't know. <laughs> uh, big guy, full ground. And that actually brings up an interesting point that I've been thinking about for a while. So, you know, Forge Rule is basically making all the Primarchs, right? So, you're going to have, what, like 18 Primarchs. And then, of course, you'll get the Emperor at some point. So, you're going to have 19, like, super badass figures. And I'm sure we'll see maybe, like, a... Uh, like a Horus kind of uh, empowered so you know basically he'll be in the bigger armor uh, kind of more empowered than what he looks like right now maybe like a two-figure set this is all me just like making this up but th this is what I could see them doing like a like a Horus versus the Emperor like $250 kind of uh, two-piece set of them fighting like on the steps or something like that um, you know all this after they come out with the rest of the Primarchs but was something I thought about too that they could do for the Siege of Terra was they'll have all the Primarchs out by then I mean Fulgrim would be like six years old by then they could actually do put out the demon uh, the demon ascendant for um, Primarch models right so you could get this big ass Fulgrim here um, it counts as a monstrous creature you know fly monstrous creature things like that you could get uh, Perturabo you know trans transfigured he gets he gets bigger in statue I don't think he gets to fly but he definitely gains some mass and kind of looks like a big beefy demon prince just walking around or you know like some of his other brothers like Angron of course goes super batshit crazy and you know uh, from there you could get I guess you could theoretically get um uh Oh, who's the, the the Crimson King? You know, you could get him, um, but I don't think he was. I don't think he ascended in the Demonhood until after the siege. I don't know. I have to look up all my all my lore there. But you kind of get where I'm going with that. There could be like a second run, like maybe eight to ten um, ascendant Primarchs, where basically they. Well, I guess you couldn't. <laughs> I guess you couldn't have a Night Haunter because he gets killed off eventually never ascends but you kind of get where I'm going there right so that would be a really cool series to see of uh, Forge World characters uh, series of figures and then some more novel covers and some more recent stuff Cybernetica and uh, the Wolf King which now we're getting a Lehman Russ model too so that's exciting and that's about it for this one so it's 150 pages it's a really cool kind of look you know you just kind of flip book you know just kind of flip through it and it's uh it's really interesting I think it's uh it's a good thing to just kind of have you know, just have on the coffee table or have on your, your shelf, you know, it's something that some of these books, some of these covers are New York Times bestsellers. So there's nothing, you know, wrong with, you know, even having this thing. It's just, um, and it's really cool. Man, I got to get better with that zoom. And it's, it's just a really cool kind of, you know, just something to have around, something to show people like, oh, I remember that book or, oh, I didn't even know that book existed. Let me go pick it up or, oh, oh this or, oh, that, you know what I mean? So it's, it's a really cool kind of thing. And I would like to see more of this stuff from uh, Black Library and possibly Forge World. You know, they could do some sort of uh, art collection of the Primark uh, busts, 
you know, or the uh, the Primark concept art as well. So the sky's really the limit. It just really kind of comes down to how much stuff do they want to kind of put out, you know, as far as uh, that goes, as far as content and and things like that. So that was my review of the new Horse Heresy cover art collection limited to 1,000 from Black Library. Deleted scenes, bonus content, all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.